Hello friends, welcome to part two of what to do before you decide to change a habit. Do make sure to watch part one on the intention setting. It is very important to watch that as that is the foundation of what we're about to listen to. My name is Ojas, I'm an existential coach. I have successfully changed a lot of my habits after many years of effort and figuring out my own techniques and I've helped a lot of clients and I'm really happy to bring this uh, to you. Uh, this is part two, talking about strategies and preparation before you decide to change your habit and before D-Day. This is a part on uh, a series of uh, habit hacking and self-improvement and I really hope this helps you. So really to prepare, uh, we want to uh, look at three R's in order to have the readiness. The three R's is research, reflect, and release. Okay, so we're gonna go into that. Research, well, it's simple. We want to gather as much information as possible. Let's say we're trying to kick our habit of smoking or drinking, or we want to uh, wake up early in the morning or go for a daily run or do a daily yoga. We wanna research what, uh, what the research is behind that, some people who have done it in the past, maybe we can speak to friends, uh, maybe we can look at the scientific benefits of uh, waking up at a certain time, like 5 a.m. We can look at the health concerns that smoking have. Uh, I have personally done this and it has helped me to really feel convinced from inside that, that this is important to do. Uh, you can also list down the bad effects of the habit you want to leave or the good effects of what you're going to replace it with or the good habit that you want to form. Uh, you can quantify the money and the time. So I've used this app called Quidzilla where you can actually put a number. Uh, let's say there is drinking. So the amount of dollars that you will actually spend on a, on a weekly basis just by quitting this and for other non-tangible things you can measure it in terms of how much time you will save or how much mental energy you would save and what you can do instead of it moving on to reflection i think this is probably the most important thing uh, we can reflect on what it would really mean to change and don't be afraid to probe deeper and ask yourself some difficult questions. This clarity will actually provide the foundation. Don't worry, it will not discourage you from changing your habit, okay? So I want you to ask yourself, do I really want to do this? This relates to the previous video as well on intention setting. Uh, be sure that you want to do it uh, ask yourself why you want to do this, what your real intrinsic motivation is, uh, what it would mean to you, you know, what's the end result you're seeking. You, you want to feel amazing about yourself, you want to be disease free, uh, whatever it is for you, meaning is always personal. And uh, also uh, ask yourself, am I fully ready right now? You know, it may be that there is a desire to do it, but I feel that, oh, maybe uh, there is some uh, thing next month next month I will be ready like there is this stressful time right now so be honest with yourself if you're ready to do it right now uh, also see if your desire to change or the pain associated with not changing strong enough so for me uh, I just want to be honest I was really addicted to weed at a time and I reached a low point in my life and I said enough is enough and it was necessary for me to feel that low, to feel that moment of enough is enough, I cannot live this way anymore. Uh, so really feel that, that urge from inside that uh, this is it. Visualize how life would be, uh, how you would really feel. Uh, you can do this as a, as a proper reflective activity. Um, also ask yourself, what would I have to really give up? right because smoking comes with uh, a lot of let's say stress relief in the moment it might be a way of uh, connecting with new people uh, sleeping uh, late gives you this this luxury this this feeling of bliss are you willing to give all of those up um, so think about that also ask yourself what is it that will help you in your unique journey uh, some little tools, this toolkit of yourself, which 
which is going to be handy. Maybe it's some kind of accountability towards a, a friend, uh, or maybe it is setting a target for yourself. So see what works for you. What has worked before? Uh, remember your past achievements, something that you have successfully been able to change, or a difficult project that you have embarked on and been able to be successful on. So tune into that, tune into the feeling and what you did that made it successful. Very, very important, ask yourself what is your Achilles heel, your weakness, your trigger. And this is really the thing that always puts us down when we are determined to change a habit. Maybe your trigger is a work-related stress that you're finding it overwhelming and you're not able to cope and you need something to release. Maybe your trigger is somebody criticizing you and you feeling terrible, you feeling angry and you need something to release that, right? So do tune into that because those are the things uh, which are going to hinder you or going to come in your way and those are really the make or break moments for you. Uh, also ask yourself, am I willing to commit to the 21 days? or whatever target you set, I recommend 21 days to start with and you can always extend it later. But be fully willing to see it through the 21 days no matter what. And also ask yourself, what would happen if I fail? What would happen if I relapse in the middle of the 21 days? It's good to be prepared with that. I would say, just keep going. Skip one day, just keep going, right? So be prepared for all scenarios. Now release. Uh, make sure to release any guilt or shame that you have around trying to quit in the past and not being successful the last time. The guilt and shame of actually doing those things and feeling terrible about it, uh, about sleeping late every time, about maybe being lethargic or being overweight, uh, maybe about um, overdoing substances really really release it really try to be compassionate towards yourself uh, as well as try to release the habit you know be be totally willing in your heart that okay now i can let this habit go it has served me it has protected me but now i'm willing to let it go and you can even do something like a burning ritual any kind of pressure that you put on yourself will is not really going to help so do make sure to to be reinforced positively rather than negatively and try to do it out of joy rather than out of fear. It's going to be more sustainable and it's going to be more fun. Make sure to have a clear, clearly defined goal like 21 days, anything that you set for yourself. I'm going to have other videos as well about goal setting. Uh, set a quit date for yourself if that works for you or a date where you're going to start your habit. However, if you want to be impulsive, if you want to act on the moment, like today I feel I'm ready to do it, you wake up in the morning, you're like, this is it, today I'm going to do it. That's fine. It doesn't need to be overly planned. You can decide to go gradually, like I'm going to reduce from a pack a day of cigarettes to, you know, five a day, two a day, just keep doing one a day. If it works for you, great. For me, the cold turkey approach works. It's like, you know, if, I, if I'm leaving it, I leave it all the way. Whatever works for you. Do make sure to set very, very easy goals. Don't push yourself. Don't expect yourself to run an hour every single day. Start with 10 minutes, right? Start every alternate day. It's okay to, you know, to not climb the mountain in the first go. And make sure to, to do one habit at a time, right? A mistake we do is we, we just take on too many things and we, we want to do like a life transformation overnight. Well, our body is not used to it, right? So we want to ease into it. And that brings me to my next point, which is the self-connection, right? We want to be connected with ourselves. We want to be loving of ourselves the entire way, criticizing ourselves, putting ourselves down, and putting pressure on ourselves isn't really going to help because ultimately we're doing it for ourselves and this is not a precondition to self-love, it is an expression of self-love. Because I love myself, I'm willing to do these things. I want to live the best life because I love myself, right? Compassion and confidence on yourself, be on your own side. Also, I want you to be mindful of how you feel. Like, let's say if you're oversleeping, how does it feel in your body? What emotions do you have uh, when you're smoking? 
uh, really be mindful of your smoking rather than just doing it uh, mindlessly or automatically, right? Uh, what, what are you feeling? You're, are you feeling stimulated? Are you feeling uh, a bit poisoned? Are you feeling disgusted? Are you feeling energized? Uh, so this, this body awareness is going to help you later on. Have a toolkit of resources ready at your disposal. I'm, uh, I've made a separate video on this. Do make sure to tune into it. It's uh, super important, super fun, and it's something that you can go back to, which is going to help you along the way. Uh, it includes a lot of things, including uh, accountability, uh, getting excited about little things, getting some, some little uh, gadgets or things which is going to help you on your journey, uh, having a, a clearly defined reasons of what you're, wh why you're going to do this. Uh, so make your own toolkit of resources. Um, and I just want to say at the end, be brave and fearless, right? Uh, it always seems harder. The, the build up to it always seems harder, but when you're in the middle of it, you're just flowing, right? It might be difficult at first, there are ups and downs, but you're flowing once you're in the motion. Uh, and I just, I just want to say, believe in yourself, cheer for yourself, because this is an amazing and very, very uh, meaningful journey that you're embarking on. And you are really a hero just for trying. And if you failed in the past, it takes even more courage to try again. So well done, congratulations, and I really wish you the best. I want to end with two questions for self-reflection. Uh, what do you find the most challenging? What is your trigger? Uh, leave a comment. It might help other people. It might help me to understand what triggers people. Uh, and also one thing that you learned from this video that really stuck with you that you're going to try differently this time. Okay, so I wish you the best. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you want to um, have more self-improvement and habit hacking videos. Take care.